Okay, am I alive? But yeah, Bofors and Karaja are already competing to be the first here. <laughs> and I alive? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, Karaja, how you doing? So, um, I thought I would spend this afternoon taking care of a little bit of side business, shall we say. You're sleepy. Ah, well, it's tiring time of year. Everyone goes back to work. All that good stuff, you know? So I'm still planning on playing Dark Tartarus later this evening. But I thought I would check out some two demos that... I was actually thinking of something to play. And I thought, hang on, I have some demos to check out. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to launch the first one. Sorry if it's loud, I haven't adjusted the sound settings yet. I'm just uh, literally booting this up. So bear with me a moment. Oh, I set this thing up here. Should be good there, I think. Hello, Pineapple. One, this game being made in the 90s. Yeah, okay, let's get that fixed. Jesus, that's loud. <laughs> Straight away. It's loud as fuck. There we go. Okay, so, yo, when's Killing 4 do? Maybe another time. I want to take care of this today. I don't even mind what I did that. It's pretty well placed. Pull out of the way. What wad is this? Uh, this is not a wad, pineapple. This is a game that some of you might remember that I have played a demo of this previously, a few years ago. When they released the survival demo. Now, this was actually from a game I have. The only game I have ever kickstart, helped to kickstart. Did this over too loud? Alright, let me fix that. Yeah, this is something I helped to kickstart a while ago. I think about two years ago or something like that. I helped to kickstart. Pineapple, I'm going to be playing other games on here aside from Doom. You said my other game list? Alright, is that better for sound-wise? I hope so. So, I played the survival demo of this, and it was pretty fun on my old computer. It was a real... Uh, really taxed the, uh, the graphics in the final wave, but it was essentially a pretty decent-looking uh, old-school FPS-type game. Well, anyway, uh, this is a different demo. A campaign demo for the single-player stuff. So, I guess what we do is, hey, we're a night. How you doing? Going okay. I thought I'd check out some demos today, since I, well, just felt like it. So, this is not the survival. I think the survival demo is still included, but I think this is the campaign demo. So, a little different. At least I hope it is. Press fire key to start. Alright. Okay, yeah, this is a lot. Oh my god, we actually have a HUD. Alright, so this is um, very different. Uh, okay, yeah, I think my uh, stuff's good here. I'm just. I can see the full screen. There we go. I don't think my thing's covering up anything, so... One out of 79 kills. Oh, we do have a zoom option. Okay. Nice. Wow, this looks a lot different from, uh... Let's eat in a rat. I need the red key. This looks a lot different than uh, the survival thing. It looks like they've changed the graphics a little bit. Perhaps made them a bit more optimized or whatever. So I have not played this before. I mean, I remember at the time saying that like this mode's pretty cool, but are we gonna see a campaign mode? It turns out, yeah, we are. There's no reworlding. 
extremely old school like. I probably could have notified the creator of this, but yeah, it's a spur of the moment. I wouldn't have done it. so many Very weird sort of color power to it though, but it looks nice nonetheless. I guess the lava's not a good thing. Oh, this is this Ah, I've come back to the start of the level. What am I doing? Triple shotgun. Shotgun. That's what we want to see. A big, beefy sounding shotgun. Perfect. Speed is quite nice and zippy as well, which is pretty cool. Nice ah, what the hell? Oh, god damn it. Fuck. Uh, wow, that went pretty badly. I don't know what difficulty this is on. Uh, is there a quick save option for this? I guess not. Well, maybe there is. Well, that was pretty bad. Uh, let me just see if there's a quick save option. Hmm. You know what? I have a feeling there might not be a quick save option here. I mean, I wasn't even given a difficulty selector, so I guess this is probably normal-ish. No, there is actually no quick save option whatsoever, seemingly. I guess they don't want people to quick save this demo. Well, that was a pretty. Okay, sure, whatever, I guess. Can't open it directly. Well, this might be the only level in the demo. I don't really know. I I believe this game is supposed to come out this year. Last I heard. I haven't checked the Kickstarter in a month or so, but I believe they were trying to get it out for this year. this iron sight being an option. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I need to break the break key. 
seem to be any kind of a, a map. So... Very nice uh, detail to him, but the power is very odd though. I can't quite describe it to you. Wow, explosions have a lot of frigging range. That's for sure. I do like the fact that the board remains on the ground though, it's very wood spoiler, that's kinda nice. It definitely does have that old school FPS feel to it though. This time we will not get cornered by these guys. Right in my face. Look at that, a nice way back to over here. Definitely an onus on keeping things simple with this. This is the Indoor. Or. Jenga. Kind of thing. Needs more attention given to the way. I guess it's maybe supposed to look a bit sort of foggy because we're in the middle of a lava escape. It perhaps looks a little too bright, maybe, arguably. You can actually see the ammo just very tiny, just where the uh, main ammo is. So that's handy. Kind of a bit small, though. Maybe that could be made bigger. Yeah, it's not quite super impressive looking, is it? I mean, to be fair, since the last time I played this demo, I've been spoiled with the likes of um, a Medieval and Dusk and Iron Fury. It's about creating that unique sort of um, visual feel that kind of stands out of it. Can't be easy to do. I'll Oh my god, this, the background looks really nice, though. It looks like this has potential, it just needs to be a bit more, yeah, less dull looking. Level architecture is quite nice, though. Very nice looking. Uh, did I go over there for anything? Uh, looks like there might be, but I don't really feel it's a good option. <laughs> this fire looks weird. Very strange. No, oh, we can't seem to open it directly. Hmm. Maybe we do have to do some... Oh, I see where we need to go. Yow. <laughs> you reckon this could use a double jump? So 
far I feel like they smashed all the genre tropes into this demo. I don't feel like they work together here. Oh, they killed that guy. Excellent. Well, those look nice. Nice to see body parts just flying off. That's kind of nice. It's got some good gore physics, I guess. Wave movement's kind of dull. Well, keep in mind that this is the same movement that a medieval had. A midi and that was one of my big problems with the medieval was the lack of cool movement, you know. That's one of the reasons why I wasn't as big a fan of the medieval as I thought I was going to be. Because of the very stiff movement timing. Mind you, to make up for it, the weapons in the medieval were absolutely brilliant. You know. I mean, I still think Dusk has one of the best movements of any game I've ever played. You know, just supremely great movement. Oh, that's cool. Insane gazebo. Oh, uh -huh, very funny. You gonna put Ward Sergeant out of a job with that? Was that will fit the ammo capacity for the uh, this thing? I was called. Oh, that's it. On holy land, it's finished. Don't scare Sergeant like that. Art direction too unremarkable, navigation too unremarkable. They must be cranking the ammo like one of the white soldiers or something to make him any to be not just only W. There was jumping. We did a lot of jumping around and stuff. We had to go back a little bit. And thank you for the follow, Frank6149. In all caps, much appreciated. And then we got a very sort of, look at this screen, like, this is the 90s FPS screen. Great landscapes. Oh, that's it. Oh. I was kind of hoping we get a second level. What is the survival demo done also? I guess they removed that? There used to be a survival demo. Maybe they removed it. With video options. Everything was set to high, vertical sync, max FPS. I want to test something. Yeah, it's FOB is 59. <laughs> crank it up to max. Well, crank the FOB up to maximum. Alright, I'll do that in a minute. All right, give me a sec. Field of view. 90. It goes up to 90. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Now we're playing in 90. Oh, we have one of these clubs. Well, I guess no fee as doesn't really matter in FPS. So, we have no idea of the difficulty of this, by the way. Because there's no option more for difficulty. So, I guess this will be like normal, possibly. Oh, 
Huh. Surprisingly enough, in 90th, this seems bad. Holy shit, the game feels a lot faster with 94. Very strange. Playing it in 90. So yeah, this is the uh, a one map demo of Hellbound. More to come, obviously. It almost feels like a slightly different game with the FOB crank, though. Oh, nice, the enemies can actually hurt each other, that's cool. This feels like a lot of the stuff we saw in the um, survival mode in terms of the visuals. You know, survival mode essentially being an arena hallway sort of thing. One thing I am pleased to see is that, I don't know if it's just because of my new computer or other reasons, but I'm not getting any chugging. No problems with the uh, frame rate. It's pretty uh, solid. I love that gib shower. It's so good. Oh, God. I love that gibbs. It's, it's so it's so good. Yeah, I think that probably helps, but nah, the main problem with it, it was fine on survival mode until it went to like the wait away, because none of the corpses disappear, so I think it just became too much for the game to handle. Oh, nice, you just ultra splatter it. Just finished demo, probably won't buy it. Hey, Arch. Why did I get a new computer? Uh, two years ago. Sweet state number two, I talk about Windows 10 edition and to get used to it. Yeah, two years ago, I got a new computer. I thought you knew that. I have to be honest, this FO feel feels a lot better than the one I was just on. For whatever weird reason. Started this back in. I think I played the survival demo like two years in 2017, and I kickstarted it back then. This was before all the old school FPS stuff was really getting going, so this is like this sounded pretty cool back then. So, if I'm not mistaken, because I kickstarted the game, I think I get a copy for free. I think. Of the uh, the final product when when it comes out, and also a credit. So, ah shit.
Yeah, crack the F of evil then. Waiting on the ammo. So, when this releases, I will be playing it. I think it's got some potential to be decent. I don't think it will be massively mind-blowing, perhaps. But I certainly think it will at least be fun. For a little bit. Wow. I'm not kidding. Yeah, all I've done is change the FLB, and this feels much quicker for some reason. Or maybe it's because I'm used to the level or something, but it just feels faster. There's definitely a nice sense of scale to the level as well. I mean, we're, we're going around a giant statue. That's pretty cool. Missing two kills somewhere. I don't know where the last two kills are located. I'm gonna try something. Avoid the beat just a little technically. Oh nice, I can go on top of this. I wonder what happens if I keep going over this way. Right, there seems to be a lot of one I can keep going over here. I wonder what happens if I just keep following this around. I need to see any more to be honest for the time being so that was the hellbound demo what we all think I 
I still think this has some potential. I mean, we just saw one level of a, a campaign, and obviously there's enough uh, to indicate in my eyes that there's a little bit of potential here. Although I will agree that it does look a bit bland writing-wise. Although maybe it's a theme they're going for, for the volcanic. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see how they handle a different kind of level. I mean... The only level type we've seen, I've seen so far from this has been... Hello, Dave, by the way. It has been, um, lavery areas. I mean, the survival arena was essentially a giant slab of rock in the middle of lava. And this was... It looked nice. The level design architecture seems pretty decent. The gore is nice, and it has that old square FPS feel to it. But, yeah, it needs work, possibly. It's a shame it could like, maybe have a second level that shows off a different environment. I think that'll be nice to see. But maybe they don't want to give away too much. I mean, this is a, a kick-started amateur from Argentina project, so... You know. We're not going to end up with a Hellraiser Toll conversion type deal, but I think we'll get something that's not quite as polished as other things, but might still be worth playing. I certainly will be playing the full version of this when it comes out, which is whenever. And there's some links for you. You can follow them. There's a site. Cybot Studios and Nimble Giant Entertainment? I guess maybe they're the publisher. Yeah, possibly. I'm guessing it's going to be very volcanic and ruiny themed, but I still think, you know, you've got to have different kinds of levels. I mean, you can have indoor levels. I mean, all the good um, FPS games I've played in the last couple of years, they've not just stuck to one kind of theme. They've had a variety. I think if that was to be the whole game, I think there would be a problem if it was literally just... Um, Oh, wow, it says the plan release date is 2019, but um, it actually hasn't come out yet. I'm pretty sure they said they were going to try for it next year. I'm going to check, actually. I'm going to go to the website. I'm sure I have some updates on that. Let me have a look. Before we move on to the second demo. Yeah, so there's a campaign demo trailer. Uh, I'll pre-order a digital copy of the final game and get access to the closed beta when it's available, which is the $20 I spent on it. And I'm sure I have a the Kickstarter. Let me just look this up for a sec. Pretty sure I have this somewhere. I want to see what the last update is. I'm sure it's something. Um, oh, here we go. Let's see what the final latest update is from this project. Uh, no, I want to know the updates. What are the updates for this? Oh, here we are, updates. Okay. So we actually did up post an update of, um, at the end of the year, two minute video in Spanish, demo update, help us to find the movement system for the campaign mode. Uh, okay, so it seems like they're still really working on this basically, but this received 546 backers. I was one of them. I donated twenty dollars, and it seems like he's still trying to make it a thing. But I guess it might be a little while before we see it. Still, can't fault the source of inspiration, at least. So that's that's cool. That's a thing. I will be curious to see. Uh, hopefully, this will get released, and hopefully, it will be decent to play. Okay, so that's Hellbound. Still hoping for... It. Oh, jeez, this is loud as well. All right, let me just lower the volume here. Ooh, Unreal Engine, huh? 
That's still gonna be too loud, isn't it? God damn it. Okay. Let me just make a few adjustments here. Um, I think is it gonna be a little bit is nice. I can do that. There we go. Alright. And I just need to capture the game window, obviously. Hopefully that works. Okay, so the uh, the second demo I'm gonna play this afternoon is um Trepang 2. Now, I've only recently heard of this one, but apparently. It's being made by the same people who, some of the same people who made Fear. That means ex-monolith type people. Cheats. Complete hold mode to unlock. <laughs> oh god, don't you start with the dodge jokes, Roger. Out of money too, and you're not new. <laughs> Up your wads on the counter. So this game, apparently, from what I've seen of the trailer, is very much like Fear One or Two. Hopefully, Fear One, but that was the best of the lot. So, not really so much of this one. I don't know if they're going to have like horror elements or whether they're going to just go for the action and skip all that horror stuff. So we actually have a campaign and a horde mode. Horde 1 and Horde 2. For casual players who don't know, hey, they won't judge. Normal. For players who occasionally play shooters, hard. For hardcore FPS players, some combat is unforgiving, but warning if you succeed. Very hard. For hardcore players looking for a push and challenge, you'll die a lot. One one step into me, mode down second. Rage mode. Enemies cheat with superhuman reflexes and have eyes on the back of their heads. You die almost instantly when spotted. Only some kind of sick and twisted person could enjoy this. I think I'll stick to normal. And we'll start with the campaign first. And then maybe we'll check out the horde mode. So, Trepang Studios. I'm not rage mode? No. So, apparently, we're getting the prologue to the game. That's nice. Rage mode! Okay, so this is atomic bomb testing footage, I see. Very weirdly filtered atomic bomb test footage. Error. Oh no. Oh no, our computer broke. The horror. The game is still a bit too loud. English. They're going to kill you. Get out. Oh, we are actually moving around at this point. Okay. Oh, I wanted to watch my video in peace. Weird static screen. All right, let me just lower the volume even more, I guess. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot loud. Okay. Down to 11. There we go. Okay. So what kind of a start was that? We were watching atomic bomb footage and then suddenly we're being warned, get out. <laughs> so what were we doing in here? Were we just watching, were we just like browsing YouTube and suddenly our monitor crashed? It's like a creepy pasta gone wrong or something. Oh God. Oh, hey, we have feet. Look at that! We got feet! 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 And F locked. It, it even tells us it's locked. How polite. Burn rubber, you system message connecting. Okay. Connection established. It's locked. Auto saving. Okay. What else do we have on our hand, anyway? This is like a strange, weird opening. This is the nicest. 
Maybe we're like a IT technician. In a... Or maybe this is a nightmare. Okay. Stay out of the light. They're looking for you. Stay out of the light. Copy that. Initiating search. Oh my god. Oh shit, be serious, yo. Gee, this place has some really crappy light. To the earth, then. Oh, jeez! The stream is really choppy. Is it? I'm not noticing anything. Oh, we do have a cloak. Huh. So we can turn invisible. Oh my god, a door we can open! Ooh. Move restraints. Take the equipment, you'll need it to fight your way out. Alright, we were... Oh, wow. Gun looks nice. Holy shit. Really nice looking animation. Very cool. Oh gee, shoot left mouse button to fire my weapon. No shit. Press space bar to jump and bolt over obstacles. Okay. Oh no, is that a stamina bar of some kind? Press right mouse button to play a more powerful jump kick. Can we do it? Oh, can we do the slide? Come on, crouch slide! Show you a Mark 23, some kind of a pistol. If it may be, hold sh left shift and W to sprint. Oh no! I swear I am trying to. S oh, left out to slide. <laughs> oh my god, yes, we can slide kick. Awesome. Oh man. Is this gonna be like one of the best moves in the game? Press T to turn on. Whoa, we get like a weird light flare when we turn on the flashlight. That's a bit weird. Stay for the time being, but okay. 
Okay, what's in here? Fragile? Seemingly nothing. <laughs> A cyberpunk game. Keep it open up into chainsaws. Wow, that sounds pretty cool. Alright. So, the story is, we're some kind of, we were under arrest, we were watching videos of atomic bomb footage, and then suddenly everyone wanted to kill us. The YouTube police were not happy with us, seemingly. <laughs> you violated fair use, die! <laughs> nice lighting so far. No oh, shit, I'll turn the flashlight off when enemies are nearby. I don't intend to let them get my position. Alright, whoops. I was walking to Fleen. Crouch to move silently. Oh, there's a little sound icon that appears next to what seems to be health and a shield, I guess. I guess indicates if you're being noisy or not. I'm gonna check it out. We got all stars. Oh no, that was bad. Damn it, I wanted to aim down the sides. So I didn't realize it was a I forgot it was the melee button. So E to quote. Nice voice chatter from these guys. They really are trying to make it very feel like, aren't they? Hmm. There's no buddy here. The lights being weird on the bricks. Darkness now. Oh, this is very strange. Like you're in the dark, but you see this. Uh, you got an illuminated light all around you. That seems a bit jarring, doesn't it? Having the light illuminate around you like that when you're in the dark. You focus. I guess that blew his arm or something. Fuck me. Let me go. the slow-mo option. So we do have a slow-mo option too, it seems. I can't actually see them in the dark at all. Very strict. I really would like if it, if there wasn't a light illumination while I'm in the dark and not. It makes it hard to gauge if I'm in the dark. Finally got one of the bastards. Buddy. 
I want your gun. I'm moving. This is some very strange gunplay here. Oh, I see. I didn't have any the bat, I guess. Okay. Dropped you. Don't let him get away. Copy that, Sergeant. Yeah, it, it's it's so jarring. Like I'm in the dark here, and it there's a light around me, so I think I'm not in the dark, but I am in the dark. Wait. Oh shit. This is so weird. It's also very, very hard to spot them. Construction with vest tight. Oh, it's armor, I guess. Uh, how do I switch my weapon? Mouse? Whoa. Do I. Why? What? Can I aim down the sights at all? This is so weird. It feels like they want to. It feels like they really do want to make something like fear, but this is not. Doesn't quite work so far-ish. Especially not with this whole dark thing where you have a cone of white at your feet. I mean, if I'm in the darkness, I should not be like be able to see this weird light over me like that. You would think. I should just be in the darkness. I mean, if they want, if they want to just be like a sort of a tactical sort of shooting affair, which I guess they're going for, moving around. Look at that. I'm in the pitch darkness, so I move into the darkness, and now I have this light thing, and I think I'm visible. Like that shouldn't be there. It's just, it's just really gonna throw you off. Oh jeez, I have to slide, I guess. Yeah, but I'd rather not have it on. I want to know it I want to know that when I'm in the dark, I'm in the dark. If I can't see, I'll just put the flashlight on. Ooh, a shotgun. F sixteen. Oh, it's a switch now, I see. Uh, okay, I guess we'll give the shotgun a try. 
sure. Guess we're fourth on armor for time being. Let's get the shotgun. Throwing it hot, you got me covered. Got me that! Covering! I mean, right now it feels like I'm being exposed, but I am in the dark here. Ooh, that shotgun, man. Holy shit, that is loud. That was fucking loud as hell. Oh, cool, we do throw flares down. That's kind of nice. I kind of like the fact they're using flares and stuff. They're so desperate to light me up at this point. Crazy. Oh, jeez, there. Oh, man, they're, they're seriously just gonna sit there. I, uh. How many flares do you fuckers have? They have like a bazillion flares Oh, wow. Well, I'll say one thing this shotgun has a hell of a kick. Oh my god, that just. Oh, his leg came clean off. That's so cool. I thought Hellbound's course was. Good. This is like, wow. Is that destructible? Okay, cool, destructible stuff. Ah, oh, what now? It's like, ah, you, uh. Wait, hang on, what if I switch out the pistol instead? No? You're kidding me. So, I can't switch out the, the pistol. Oh, wait, oh, can I? Hold on. Oh, I can. Alright, so there seems to be a two, uh, two weapon limit. You guys do know Fear why to carry three weapons, right? Or in the, uh, second game. But okay, cool, now we can use both these things. I do like the, um, the fucking shotgun feedback, that was insanely good. Is there a chance to quick save? Is there a save option? No, it doesn't seem to be. Checkpoints. I ain't calling it until I see a dead body. Sweep the sector. You are the man, let's find him. Oh wow. Do you see how it stumbled back from that? Holy moly. I love the shotgun feedback. That is... Go on, use us. I want more shotgun ammo. Oh, one of them wants you to show up again, I guess. Oh, this shotgun looks so mint. Very, uh, well, I guess it's the maintenance tunnels. It's very samey looking. 
so far, but I don't think that's going to be the main focus of the this game. Okay. Oh! Okay. So we've seen change the scenery. <laughs> oh no, the doors are closing on me. Oh, this really is the horror. So wait, this game is going to have a sort of... Ah, no! Look out, it's... What is that he's uh, attacking me here? Shadows? I was being attacked by shadows. <laughs> Weary we bits. No, it's like some weird shadows on the floor. That was weird. Not very scary, just weird. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was weary bits. That would be my worries. So some killer weary bits coming to get you. That would have been so cool. In a sort of really stupid way. Oh, I wonder if I can like take the legs out and Oh. You're all right. Yep, you're good. Oh, you can blow the legs right off. That is so cool. <laughs> Computers. Technology. You didn't recycle. <laughs> oh wait, is that a different weapon? Ooh. It is a little different, yeah. Maybe like a assault rifle or some shit. Ah. Just gonna have the same problem that fear had. Well not really a problem, but you're kind of encouraged to cycle your weapons out of it. Yeah, I want to, wait. Is there a way to aim down the sights in this? Let me check. Spend slimes by pickles. I don't know the sights and cost of me down. But, uh, you're kidding me. There's no iron sights in this? Fire weapons, cycle weapons, melee attack, reload, bow grenade, cycle grenade, focus and plug. Walking up and down with the camera, flashlight. Holy shit! There's no iron sights. How the fuck can you have no iron sights? Fear had iron sights. You have no iron sights? Seriously? Alright, but well, well, there's the first quality of... I felt the problem, Karja, is that a big part of fear, if it's what indeed they're trying to replicate here, is that it was about tactically shooting people with headshots. You can't do that if you've no iron sight option. In a game that had a rail gun and several weapons that focus on precision, it's hard to do that when you don't get the option. That just feels weird to me. I'm pretty sure it... Oh, that's soon. Uh, maybe you're right. Never mind then. I could have sworn I remember having iron sights. Never mind. I could have sworn it did though. It's gonna make it really hard to kill these guys though, in the way I want to play. <laughs> Flares you want to throw? Right 
Yeah, zoom would be good. I wouldn't mind a zoom if not iron sights. Very hard to get a precise shot. Shield guy. Got the other shield guy. Seems to be a bit more ammo dropping for it now. There it is. And also, we have a stamina bar. computer back this is some very strange looking offices Fourteen one one eight is suffering from severe insomnia and has adopted the habit of chattering his teeth. Two suicide attempts were made on nine fifteen and September the fifteenth and September the twenty second via hanging and choking. The results are remarkable. Subjects fourteen one one eight had adopted traits and actions almost identical to Arthur Vine born. See attached document fourteen one one eight A for more similarities. However, regardless of the results, the lack of consistency with testing and the abundance of uncontrollable variables tarnishes the legitimacy of this experiment. For instance, what went to insomnia could have been influenced by the irregular security deals and irregular construction hours, or anxiety from isolation. Isolation was not something Arthur Van faced. The suicide attempts, despite being identical to the attempts made by Arthur Van, could have been done out of practicality and limited access to other methods of suicide. Okay. Wait, are all these intels? There's five in a row. Switchboard. Track your assets all in one place. Where's the switchboard cloud platform? See historical tempest for region control freight getaways near the temperature exceed limits. Oh, 
compliance monitoring management switchboard vision Ooh. some Chris Isaac Okay. Homicide prison block. This is, I mean, this feels very unpolished at the moment, but I guess this is just like the prologue. It's obviously going to be a bit different. Talking about drugging someone. I like the gun, but it looks like you're waddling around. Tasers are permitted. So talking about subjects, safety protocol. Ooh, what's this little thing? Oh, look, this one has a fucking scope on it. Oh, some kind of weird thing. I don't know what it is. It's a weird looking gun. Why do you like fear if you pay as a penguin? Yeah, this is meant to be. This was made apparently by a couple of people from the who made fear. So ex monolith, basically. They sure know went. They sure like chucking their flares, don't they? Just. Press left alt for slide, effective for knocking down enemies. No shit. Damn it. She'll get to walk right up to me. Let's see how they like a grenade. Up in the grill. Dang it. Very hard to pin these fuckers down. illuminating past the door. I don't like to know. Oh, god damn, they're fucking just hiding in the dark. I swear to god I cannot see them at all. Good at hiding when they want to. those papers shedding. Come on, where you at? Get that damn shield down, boy.
you. I got you. I got Mr. Shield. Oh, Bitch can't win without a shield. is nice once it gets going but a lot of this is the environments feel very copy paste at the moment i mean i guess they'll work on those as time goes on of course i guess the main thing they want to show off here is the gunplay which is pretty decent actually but hmm boy. Yeah, the detail would be good. This is just like generic office fights. I love this shotgun, man. Shotgun is so beefy sounding. Love it. <laughs> the strangest thing of all is that there's a slow mo mechanic in this, and I'm not even needing to use it because I have a cloak that seems to work far, far better. Oh, I could slow mo and kill them, or I can cloak, get behind them, and pop them off one by one. Fragmental damage is nice. Oh boy, it looks like we're going back into some more maintenance tunnels. And then office block. I call it body. Oh my. I 
guess he can see his helmet wide open. Maybe that wasn't the smartest idea. <laughs> Okay, yeah, when it when you get to move around a bit, and now I start to see it. It's that fast paced jumping over things, flanking enemies, really quickly style that Fear was known for, you know. And that was one of the main really good points of Fear was the fact that although I mean Fear itself had a lot of copy paste environments, but the fights were always kind of interesting. You know, they managed to make fighting the same kind of enemy for 12 hours entertaining because the fights were just... They had a lot of impact, there was flanking, the AI was pretty decent at times. And then the music immediately stopped. <laughs> like, super immediately. Calm before the storm or something. Multiple squads are killing any location, kill them all, distractions on the way. Oh no. Yeah, that's a good idea. Shoot the lights off. So cool, if I can shoot the lights, and that's a legit strategy. Hey, I'm in the... It's a legit strategy. Shoot the lights off. Make the room as dark as humanly possible.
Excuse me, Mr. Shield guy. Got you, buddy. Man, oh, I thought we got like an aid. <laughs> Turn the tables away. to even see these guys and they fucking spawn me from a mile off with the flashlight. <laughs> what? That kid is flying by itself. What the fuck? There's a gift just literally flying around. That's crazy.
boy. They've got one more squad left. <laughs> By the looks of it. I guess he's the boss. He's not like or something. Jesus. Damn it. Okay, now that was pretty fun. Now that was a pretty sweet seat. Hey, wookie wookie. We're even going aboard a chopper. Oh my god, the way they just move in, that looks so weak wonky. <laughs> Followers. By the way they all just moved into the building like that, it was one sort of... Very weird. So I guess there's some links for you if you liked any of what you just saw. Thank you for playing. This isn't over yet. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was. Fading out very slowly. This isn't over yet. Okay. Uh, what? Um, no way they thought to break glass. Oh. Jump and melee to kick. Old spray. 
going to slide kick. Yeah, take that, glass. <laughs> Glare on the screen edges means you are in the light and enemies can quickly detect you. You are less visible in the shadows. Why am I getting this weird tutorial at this point? Man, they like the fucking flares, don't they? So many flares everywhere. Ooh. I just picked up what appeared to be an hourglass. I mean, that's a slow mo power up, I guess. So yeah, what are the what are your thoughts of the game so far? Doesn't seem that bad, honestly. Gameplay-wise, it really is just like playing Field One, like a not your cup of tea. I mean, this would not be the first game that was come from X Monolith. I played um, another one that was by a few of them a few years ago which was some weird black and white shooter where you had to do ghost stuff and it was kind of wonky-ish I mean visually wise it looks pretty good the gameplay is pretty interesting I suppose um, I guess they really do just want to make another fear game but not call it fear. It's literally seems to be what it's. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's only an early demo, so. Don't know what the story's gonna be like in a full version or whatever, but. Hmm. I, I would say it has some potential, but. The only question is, would they be able to make this good for 10 to 12 hours in the same vein, knowing that it's going to be like, exactly like Fear 1 or 2 or whatever. Hey, Foglin, have I played No One Lives Forever? No, I've never played that. I have heard of it. That's the one we, uh, never played it. Is this it? Is there anything else here to... Yeah, I mean, I liked Fear 1. Fear 1's gunplay was pretty good. And the Express expansion was pretty good. The, the Perseus Mandate, though, was literally nothing but um, a lot of gunplay. I mean, Perseus Mandate was essentially just constant gunfights with annoying enemies and I didn't like that so much. I think that it's fine to have this gunplay but you 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 need to have something uh, you know you need to have something supporting it because at some point I, 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 how, how can I describe this? Um, Fear had a decent story going for it. 
that good. Two sacks, everyone. The hell's this? Oh, sorry about that. Someone just called and hung up. Whatever. Weird. I really don't want some security doors, but... I'd sure like to know... Where? Oh, I'm starting to recharge as fast, so that's good. Leave now. I love this. I mean, the Solomo filter also does look very nice. I finally kick when <laughs> I can't believe I, I spent ages having not even needing to use it, and I was just able to. But it's a godsend when you need it. Um, what was I, what was I saying before? Hello, Ward Misfit. Yeah, I had some spare time this afternoon, so I thought I'd check out some demos. I played Hellbound, uh, we're still playing the... Um... Chapang 2 demo. Get away. All right, let's find this, this is kind of... This is after he beat the prologue, there seems to be another section. Stuff. Why? Okay, and breathe, boys. Yeah, I'm still going to be streaming more Dark Tartarus later. This is just something I've done since I had a spare uh, morning slash afternoon. I mean, while I still have this uh, sort of free time, um, I, will, I will be trying to play a couple of other games on a Monday. Because that's a really good time for me. I mean, I don't know how long this is going to stay this way, obviously. Because... I might get a job eventually, and this might not be so much of free time. But, since I have a big ass request list to be getting on with, I got lots of. Might as well use the free time to, uh. Be careful, though, he gives away my position. Oh no! Yeah, there will be some more doom later. <laughs> what is the gun doing just up like that? The gun just... Oh, it fell over. of something. Ah, right, okay. Oh, this, my mum saying she's going to be a bit later. Cool. Alright, 
I was going to say it was fully balanced. Weird. Yeah, these were definitely not human walking. They looked more like zombies or some shit. Like, well, the gimmick of the game is basically that it's like fear. Fear 1. It has slow-mo. The cloak is different. Now, grant you, there is a cloak, which is a temporary little cloak you can use. That's kind of a different deal. But essentially, if you like Fear 1, this is a Gila one. Made by some ex-monolith people, apparently, as well. Now, I know what Fear 1 did have, but this doesn't have a weaning. There is no weaning. Now that I... So that's definitely something this is missing. Well, I know what's the best time here. Wait, fear? Oh wow, they're selling these switchboard modules, apparently. It's all just a big advertising push. I'm over there. Fuck, I'm over there. Fear is a pretty decent game. At least the first one is. My advice would be. Uh, play Fear 1, play Fear 1 Extraction Point, and then don't touch any of the other games, because they're all shit. Maybe Fear 2 is okay, but just don't. Just stick to Fear 1 and Extraction Point, and then just leave it, because... Hey, Draken, how's it going? Hellbound demo was one level, but for campaign it was okay. Hello. Hi. Are you fucking kidding me? Smart ass near the throw a grenade at my ass. Oh yeah, I can throw a grenade too, see? See you like it, Fox. Bam! Oh, I can grab him! Wait, I can throw him? Oh, this is different. I can throw him, apparently. Okay, I gotta test this. Whoa. I don't see throwing. Oh wait, I still have a guy. Throw him, yes. Falling to the ground. <laughs> I'm on a move. There we go. This has been all right so far. Obviously, it's trying to go for the fear one thing. That's cool, I guess. But... By the way, this is on Steam, if you're interested. Um, it's a free demo, so... Just look up Japan 2 on Steam, and it's the first thing you'll come across. Um, we have a helicopter waiting for you at the top floor. Get there for extraction. All right. I 
I shall be very, very quiet then. throwing a fire when it's in the middle of the daylight why why are you throwing fires oh, it's like the cloak is affected by him or some shit it's like why are you throwing fires why oh fuck me There were no explosion sound. <laughs> Anything better than the SFG will do. Nice. Ah, uh, let's keep going. Now, what I was going to say earlier is that will this game be able to do this kind of gameplay and keep it interesting for like 10 to 12 hours or however long it wants its campaign it want to run.
heads come clean off. Look at his head. Ugh. Twenty-seven thousand sweet points. Holy shit! Yeah, well, we got trees and is that a? It's a always looking building. Looks like we're escaping this spot. For now, judging by the f just before we're shot down. Nah, I don't think so. I guess that was like an extra little preview from the preview. That'd be good for you, wait until it gets to a series. I'm going to have to start upping the price of those highlights, possibly. Yeah, I did. Maybe I'll just leave them at 300. Is this isn't over yet? Oh. So, my main thing is that, although this gameplay seems pretty fun, can they maintain this for a long period of time? What are they going to add on top of this? Or are we just going to get literally 8 to 10 hours of the same fights? Because this kind of thing, as fun as it is, it could get repetitive if it's not mixed up a bit. Somehow I feel I need most of those. Well, okay, I'll weed them. Wait, this is... Uh... Oh, this is the same thing. Alright. It's the same thing. <laughs> exactly the same. Just replays the same extra campaign level over and over again. Play the story pro. Alright, let's try... Wood. Hey, thank you for the one bit, Lord Misfit. Alright, so this is the horde mode. Give this a try. Yeah. God knows when it's coming out, well. Right between the eyes. Grenade, how nice. Granada!
Keep grabbing! I got a hostage, yeah, now we can do. Taking out your whole squad. Where's the last guy? To be fair, it's probably more than sufficiently enough to be dead.
Alright, where's my... Give me that. so far oh god these things are definitely zombies Shotgun ammo. That slow mo filter is really good.
might need to play this on hard in the future. <laughs> Seems a little too easy now I'm used to it. Well, let's see if we can get to wave 30 at least. Oh, they just killed each other. I'm having way too much fun with this right now. Oh no, I used too much slow mo power. Finally! A shotgun? No. Something else. Shield, that would be nice. Gimme that shield. Shotgun ammo plus. One enemy? Oh, this will be a boss then, I guess. Every armored man.
Okay. It's a wave 30. Oh, the cheats. Oh boy. SMG we get a shitload of ammo. The enemies get up from being knocked down animations a bit wonky. Anyone else see that? Seems a tad wonky to me. Just a little bit on the wonky side. Okay, still a little bit. Oh shit! Is that all the heavy armored guys? 
That could be a problem. the pokey. works well. guy among this lot as well. Slow-mo time. Ah, 
him down. Oh man. I thought I was gonna die there. I thought I was gonna be it. Time to have no Shit, that was close. Way too close.
Okay, one left. Yeah, where are you ass dude? Nice. We can get to wave 30, we'll unlock some cheats, apparently. saying son no 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 I want the shotgun back please thank you shotgun very important to keep Wave 20, yeah, it was only it was this easy. Well, yeah, I'm playing on normal, I guess, so. Oh, not these guys. These guys seem to be a lot more of a pain than the others. Come on, boys. 
Oh, nice. Took him out immediately. Bad time to be whoa. This essentially plays a lot like Fear 1, and is very, very inspired by it. Too many of them. Alright, no, we're not doing any more of that. Ah, too many enemies. Oh, we have to wave 27. Alright. What is. Hmm. What's Horde 2 then? Different map, I guess? Yeah, okay, different map. Alright, so that will do, I think. Okay, yes, I want to quit. Alright, I think I've seen enough. Satisfied with what I've seen so far. I saw that door. Open. So that was Trepang 2 demo. Uh, what do we all think? Of all of that. Yeah, the studios are called Trepang Studios Get Coop, so it's named after that. So like the cheat, you can unlock an insane door, infinite grenades, infinite focus, infinite cloak, infinite stamina, clumsy enemies, big head, T-pose, and squeaky voices. You can get through 30 waves. Yeah, it really does look like I'm just playing Fear 1, but with, um... Like a, um... Just basically Fear 1. I suppose, uh, ugh. gameplay seems to be okay. I would be curious to see if they can make a game, keep the gameplay entertaining for a sustained period of time, but the gunplay seems pretty nice. So this one also could be potentially quite interesting. Maybe it'll come out later this year, who knows. Who knows? Be nice if it did. So, um, two potentially good games to look forward to in this new year. Hellbound and Japan 2 for different kind of reasons. I'm curious to see how much of the horror elements of fear they implement. We saw a very brief snippet of it in... Did that pipe just fall off? <laughs> Ooh, messing with the physics. <laughs> so, two games I'll have to keep an eye on. I'll have to keep an eye on this Trepang 2. See what they do with it. Yeah, I think it's the old no Supernatural so they can really up the enemy variation. Well, it seemed like the enemies, the flesh enemies, which I assume are similar to the zombies, they seemed to flail around a lot and were a bit more kimikaze. So it seemed like there was a, a little bit of an AI difference, I think, between, from what, based on the horde modes, and the very little I've seen of them in the uh, campaign 
it. See, it might be a little different. But they definitely seem to have captured the Fear One gameplay and added a few tweaks, like the cloak. Which, that's pretty nice. Seems that not quite as. Uh, overpower as I thought it was since it instantly drains upon use but it's useful but two games to keep an eye on I think hopefully both of them come out this year we'll see some more later on anyway uh, that's going to be it for this stream um, I will be back later on today with uh, more Dark Tartarus oh boy I just can't wait to play more Dark Tartarus yeah can't wait. So excited. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'll catch you all then. If, uh, in about maybe two or three hours from now. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Be curious about both games. Both demos are on Steam. And see you later.